Well, I figured I would give myself a break from covering just the dumpster fire that is NASCAR 21 Ignition that just seems to get worse and worse by the day. Uh, by booting up a race room for the first time in ages and blasting around in like their off-brand IndyCar. This is called the Formula Race Room US. It's a 2015 or 2017 spec Dallara DW12 with those ugly ass arrow kits. And as evidenced by the top of the screen, we are in leaderboard mode. The game has an extensive set of leaderboards for every car and track in the game. And I'm just going to be hopping from track to track. I have a really good setup for this car. And we're just going to see how many relevant P1s I can achieve, you know, in an A night of hot lapping. I have a pretty good setup for this car. Uh, the way you set this car up in both race room as well as P cars too is almost identical. Uh, you run inverse rake so air gets to the underside of the car and hits like the rear diffuser and stuff like that. Uh, and then you trim the car out with like the actual wing settings. Uh, and from then on you're pretty much free to do whatever the fuck you want in terms of alignment. You just set the car up based on how you want it to handle through the corner. Unfortunately in terms of authenticity, uh, this is really OP to run a config like this. Uh, and we are way too fucking fast around this joint. I mean, I think the lap time ends up being like a mid-103. Uh, Indy cars do not run mid-103s here. In fact, just driving this when I was filming this earlier on, uh, before commentating over it, I just, like, thought to myself, like, this feels like a fucking arcade game. Like, it is pretty ridiculous how much grip I had, and how hard I could drive it into the corner with, like, nothing bad happening. So this is what happens when you get P1 on a race room leaderboard. It just shifts you to the front of the line and says, new all-time best, one. Like, that's all you get. Nothing special, no, like, screen saying you did it. Honestly, it makes me miss games like Forza Motorsport or, like, Drive Club. Uh, because, like, after a major hot lapping session where you climb, like, a significant chunk of the leaderboard, the game just, like, showers you in, like, unlocks and credits and rewards and, like, cool stuff. Uh, sim racing, you don't get that. You have to, like, make your own fun, which I did by making this video. Moving over to mid-Ohio, I basically just took my Laguna setup. I trimmed the car out a bit more just by adjusting the actual wing settings. And then I changed the final gear ratio. Like, that was it. I used to race this game a fair amount, four or five years ago. Uh, before Sim Racing System was a thing, there was a website called Race to Play, and this was one of the games featured on it, and it actually had like a decently active community. The shitty part is, when Race to Play shut down, uh, Race Room's own official ranked servers and their little ecosystem they created wasn't actually ready yet. Uh, so there were a few years where I just really didn't have a reason to play the game, because at the end of the day, it really is just our factor. And like, no matter how good the game looks visually, which Race Room does, you can only sell me the same train track AI and like weird collision detection physics so many times before I'm just like, look, I'm, I really don't want to play it anymore. And of course, once they did get their online ecosystem up and running, I uh, ended up changing jobs. I used to work a 6am to 2pm shift, which would let me come home and work on my website whenever I wanted and have basically the whole afternoon for it. Or I could like jump into European time slot races, which was awesome. But then when I started doing contract work for SMS, I switched to the standard 8 to 5, so European time slot races just went out the window, which was really shitty. Because like, even with the iRacing style pricing model, which puts a lot of people off this game, uh, the game has a really good selection of cars and tracks. And I'm kind of bummed that I like missed out on racing this game competitively. Moving on to the indie road course here that'll pop up in a few seconds. Uh, some of you guys who follow me have been curious to know how the situation I've been dealing with in my personal life over the past six months is progressing. Uh, I have good news. I had a free consultation with a lawyer down in Georgia on my birthday, which, what a great birthday, hey? So this situation where this guy from the sim racing community is stalking myself and other people in the sim racing community, uh, it's criminal. That's all there is to it. I don't need to blow a bunch of my own money trying to sue him for defamation. This is by far the best outcome because I would then be able to apply for what's called restitution, which is basically just a fancy way of saying uh, financial damages resulting from the crime that was committed. So what would happen is I would submit like all of my old contracts from my SMS days to law enforcement as well as to the law court showing that like, hey, I made this amount this year. Uh, I'd also submit documentation saying, hey, our current project was expected to last until that date. So I had reason to believe I would be with the company until that specific date. And if everything goes my way, which the attorney seemed to think it would, uh, this person would be forced to pay me back all of that money as if the crime never happened, which is multiple years worth of wages. I'm not leaking anything, like, sensitive by saying that. That's just how restitution works. Lastly, I just want to thank you guys for, like, watching my shitty YouTube videos and just, like, hanging out and, like, talking racing games because, like, I film these when I'm in a pretty good mood, and that's pretty rare. Uh, most of my days are spent not in a good mood. There are days like where I've woken up and like wanted to like throw out all my trophies and like throw out all my racing pictures. There are days I admittedly don't get out of bed until 5 p.m. I wish more people kind of understood like the psychological effects of this and, and were a bit more compassionate or willing to ask like how I was doing or if there's something they could do to help uh, because it's been really tough and I get by by just you know making these shitty little videos and you know doing hot laps and, and stuff like that to remember. 
that this hobby is still fun and not full of crazy people. Anyway, setups will be linked at the bottom. You want to try them yourself. I don't give a fuck about hoarding setups. Go run some time. Have some fun playing this game if you got it installed. Not the worst sim on the market. Car's a little too fast, though.